It's the day, it's pick up day for my van. This was kind of an idea and now I think that it's real and we're here and I get to go meet my van for the first time. So let's go do it. Come on. No. I'm set the sun, I'm ready to run. I'm walking a tire up. I'll give you the fall, spring singing a song. I can't believe it, I'm loaded up. I'm heading to Phoenix to pick up my Tommy Camper van. This has been months in the making. It felt like I was just picking up paint colors and now here I am picking up my finished van. Oh, I love it! I might cry, I might cry. I love it! Mikey, I, even, I can't even believe you made this happen. Oh my God. This is beautiful. I think I'm, I'm like literally shaking. I'm shaking. Okay. Uh, okay. Is it weird that I want to look around and check out her butt first? Hold on. Yes! <laughs> this looks great. My workout rig. And adjustable for different heights. Do I look cool? Should I be flexing? <laughs> and I got my cool screen. Backup camera. What would I do without one? <laughs> ah, just, everything is just exactly what I wanted. This is it. This is my girl. So this is kind of cool. We're loading up all the equipment um, that's going to be the most portable, manageable on the road. I wasn't going to bring a barbell and weights. It's going to create a lot of poundage in the vehicle. So I thought, what ways can I train and take fitness on the road with me? I showed you those center mass bells. This is the glute ham roller from Sornex. You can do abs, you can do butt, you can do hamstrings. Tension both ways is the best way to train your body when you don't have a lot of equipment and things to do. Up is short. That's why I designed the back the way I did. So you take it and in whatever, you know, distance you want it here, you want it higher, whatever, you put the strength of the band on that you need. And now, you know, oh, I'm uneven, whatever. You get the idea, right? You can do pulling, jumping, lunging with a pull. We can hook up the bar that we've shown create hip thrusts, all kinds of stuff, just with a couple of carabiners, some Sornex bands, and a little creativity. Do you wanna come in? Yeah. So I'm finding myself kind of nesting, right? stocking my van. I've got all my protein stuff, and I've got my equipment, and I've got my, you know, my coffee, but I wanted to talk about the two things that were the most exciting for me to have in the van. One being my National Parks Pass. <laughs> this was gifted to me by somebody really important to me and it's kind of represents my future, having the kind of courage to go forth. So that's number one. And I thought it was so funny. There's no rear view mirror in here, but I do have the other pass. And the other most important item was this beautiful knife that I made with Neil Kamamura. He's not only a dear friend, he's my knife making mentor. This represents family and grounding every meal i make in this van and in taking care of myself it's going to be my outdoor chef knife so it'll kind of be right at my hip here and i'll be like Wah -pah! ready to cut onions so a little bit of future a little bit of